welcome back to Fast Freddy RC, and today we're going to start the build process of the brand new Tamiya squash van on the brand new GF02 chassis. And you can see here, there's a picture of what the chassis looks like, and it's very gear intensive. You can see that the motor is in the center, running those wheels, and then it's running those wheels all by gears. It's not, not shaft driven at all. So this is going to be a very interesting build. Now, as always, I will be building this kit with a full set of ball bearings, and I strongly suggest that you do the same. Uh, in order to take this apart to put the bearings in later, it's basically two halves of a chassis put together, meaning everything is built off of it after the two halves are put together. Meaning that if you decide to put the bearings in at a later date, you are essentially going to have to take apart the entire vehicle to do so. So again, highly suggest making sure you get the bearings right off the bat. Now the other thing is, if you want to see the unboxing of this video of this truck, uh, you can here's a link, a direct link to it, which will also talk about the YouTube RC community project that I have on the go. I put out a video a couple of months ago all around what was going to happen after I received the kit. Now we can get started and I'm super, super excited about it. So again, make sure you check that out. And if you'd like to participate, there is still a little bit of time, although I am planning on getting started on this right away. So let's get into the manual and let's see what we're going to be dealing with. Now, I, this is sort of your opening steps. I'm not going to go into much detail with that. I've done that before on a previous video, but we will get into step one. Now you can see that it says charge the battery pack. In my case, I will not be doing that. Um, not yet anyway. There's not much point. You'll have a full charge battery and we're not going to get to uh, dealing with that until we're dealing with the electronics. So I will be waiting. So I'll end up moving to step two, which you can see we're going to be working on the differential gears and there's two of them. And it's nice that this is a gear differential. Prefer those over the ball differential. So this is great. Then we're going to move into step three, which is attaching the differential gears. And you can see right away, we're going to start by putting in some bearings and uh, I have to wait until mine arrive because I'm not going to be putting in the plastic ones. And of course, you can see that when we move on to step four, the idler gears, we start seeing that we've got a lot of bearings we're going to end up having to put into the kit. Then we're going to move on to step five, which is the right side of the chassis. And again, look at all the gears we're going to have to put in. And if you can see, then we start placing the other gears. So just look at how many gears are in this kit. There are a lot. So that is step five. Then we move. Oh, well, that's interesting. There's an RC bird sticker in here. Well, that's weird. I don't know how that got in there. Uh, Dirk's got the RC channel, uh, RC birds. He does a lot of cool builds and he's a super cool guy. Well, well, that's interesting. I'm not sure how that got there. Well, then you've got step six, the left side of the chassis. Same thing. We've got to put in some bearings and then we're going to move on to uh, step seven, which is the chassis assembly. And this is the main reason why you've got to have the bearings right away. Look at that. Once this is all attached, everything is inside this main frame and again just look how many gears we're going to be dealing with so get those bearings then for step eight attaching the pinion gear we're going to be working with that on that step and then we're going to move on to step nine which is attaching the motor and you can see we're going to be attaching that to the chassis and then there's some other pieces at the front we're going to need to put on and then for step 10 we're gonna be attaching the motor guard. So that's got to go on, cool. And then in step 11, we're gonna be working with the front lower arms. Uh, and it looks like we're gonna be uh, putting in some of the O-rings into the drive cups as well. So that is step 11. Then we're gonna be, well, that's weird. Adam's Playground. I don't know how these stickers got in here. That's interesting. So the, Adam has a really cool uh, 
uh, RC channel as well. He's got a nice track. He does some pretty cool, interesting builds. Uh, and I've been following him for a while. He's he's super cool. Well, that's cool. Don't know how the sticker got in there, but we'll let's move on. So step 12, attaching the front arms. So we're going to end up putting those in, put the drive cups. And as I said in the unboxing, this is that U-joint piece that when you slide it through, it holds everything together. And then later on, there are pieces that will end up locking that in place. But we're, we'll see as we go along. Then in step 13, the front uprights, we've got to work on these pieces. It looks like we've got some bearings to put in, some step screws, uh, put on the uh, ball connectors uh, for the steering. So that's all got to go into that step. Then in step 14, we're going to be attaching the front uprights and we're going to be putting in our dog bone drive shafts as well. So that will be for step 14. Then in step 15, we're going to be attaching the rear upper arms and then there's this piece that's got to go on the front as well and that's interesting refer to page 22 to 24 when assembling model with four wheel steering interesting okay well i'm going to be doing this with the two wheel steering not the four wheel so we were not going to have to look at that then in step 16 the rear lower arms uh, same thing as what we saw in an earlier step. We're going to be working with the drive cups and putting the O-rings in. And then in 17, attaching the rear lower arms. Same idea. We're going to put that together as well. Then we're going to move... Wow, now this is really interesting. So Riviera RC. Now Glenn, I mean, he's a super cool guy and he's got some good projects on the go too. I, I don't understand how these stickers are, have made it into these this manual, but very, very cool. If you haven't checked him out, go see Glenn at Riviera RC. And then, so for step 18, attaching the rear uprights, we're gonna be putting those in and putting the drive uh, uh, shafts in as well. And then in 19, we start working on the dampers. Now the squash van comes with friction dampers uh, versus oil shocked. Well, we'll see how it goes. I know my Blackfoot um, came with the friction dampers and um, it was okay, but I mean, oil's better, but uh, we'll see how these ones go. So we're gonna have to build those. And then in step 20, we're gonna be attaching the front dampers. So that's cool. And then in step 21, we're gonna be attaching the rear dampers. Uh, so that's very cool. And then in step 22, we're going to be attaching the bumpers. Ah, so you can see that the piece that we saw that went on earlier, that's how the bumpers are getting attached to the chassis. Very interesting. Okay, so that's step 22. Then in step... Well, again, I, crazy. Look, now we've got Paul at Right Place RC. Very cool. He's been doing a lot of cool things. He's got a lot of interesting builds. Uh, he does some other stuff on there, too, with some of the gaming stuff that he does. Uh, so, again, if you haven't checked out uh, Right Place RC, you've got to do so. And I'll put a link down below to all of these uh, channels that seem to have somehow made it into the Squash Van Manual. I have no idea what's going on here. So then in step 23, we've got the steering linkage that we're going to be putting together. Uh, and that, all that's got to be attached. And of course, you can see there's some, uh, looks like we've got some bearings that are going to go into there as well. And then in 24, we're going to attach the steering linkage. So that's all got to go on in step 24. And then in step 25, checking the RC equipment. Well, this is where the battery needs to be charged. So, you know, depending on how fast you get to step 25, that's when you can start thinking about charging the battery. I just don't tend to do it right off the bat. I don't see the point in having a full, full charge battery when you're not using it yet. So that is step 25. Then you, more, okay, well, we've got Larry's RC room. Uh, he has just recently been building a a crawler track in his backyard and he did this really cool wall track which I thought was pretty awesome so if you haven't checked out uh, Larry uh, definitely check that out too crazy that these stickers have made their way into this manual so step 26 attaching that steering servo you can see where that's going to be attached to the side um, to operate the vehicle then in 27 attaching the RC equipment 
So we're going to be doing that in step 27. Very cool. And then in step 28, uh, stowing the cables. So basically, we're just going to do some uh, cable cleanup there. And then in 29, attaching the battery cover. Uh, so we're going to have to attach that. And you can see that the battery is going to sit in the middle. It's very, very cool. And then in step 30, attaching the body mounts. And they're pretty long mounts. I remember when I did the unboxing, they, they were pretty long. And what's interesting is, I mean, I think I said in a, my original video, is that the, the body pins work if you are have a CCO2 long wheelbase. The bodies will actually fit on this chassis. I still think there's something about this that Tammy is not telling us yet, because I think they're going to start using this chassis for other vehicles. But it means that if you have a CCO2, you can actually swap bodies uh, and it'll fit onto this chassis with ease. So that's very, very cool. So then we're going to move on to, we're going to move on to saying hello to Trey at All RC Fun. Uh, Trey's been doing a lot of cool stuff and he really loves working with lights. He does a lot of medical uh, vehicle uh, or an emergency vehicle type stuff. I love his light work. So I'll put a link down below. Um, Trey, don't have a clue how you got into this manual, but hey, this, this is really cool. I get to visit a lot of these great channels at the same time. So 31, the wheels. So we're going to be putting the wheels into the Blackfoot tires. For all of you out there that hate doing this part, just wheel, like if you think of the grasshopper, for example, or the hornet, I digress. Uh, we are going to put these into these, well, your Blackfoot wheels, and so this is going to actually be pretty easy to put into the tires. Then we're going to move on to step 32, which is attaching the wheels to the chassis. Very, very cool. And then in step 33, we're going to attach the rear wheels to the chassis. Very, very cool. And then in 34, we're going to put the battery into the chassis. Very cool. Whoa, what do we got here? We've got RC so-and-so. Again, another awesome channel. He does some like documentary style openers to his videos and they're usually full of humor. And I just love, love uh, what he does with that, ch that channel. Um, so if you haven't checked him out, I'll put a link down below. You gotta check that out. Oh man, so cool to revisit all these channels. Uh, then we've got 35. We're going to be making the holes and working on the body. Now, in my case, I am doing a completely custom paint job for this. Um, these steps may not end up being seen on camera uh, because I'm going to be getting my buddy Bernard to do this custom paint job for me. But these are the steps that are going to be required if you decide to um, do the box art. And it's such a such a cool van anyway, but they use uh, like that green and a, and a different white. I don't know. I think the whole thing looks really, really cool. So now we're going to move. Whoa. Oh, Gottfried RC. Now he has been doing some pretty cool running videos of of some kits I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, and I was rather impressed with the way that he was shooting him too. He did one with the, for the Manta Ray just recently, and there was another one with the uh, the uh, Super Avante, which I thought was super super cool. So I'll put a link to his channel on there too. My man, that's just so cool. Gottfried RC, lo love the look of his logo too. So cool. And then 38, the markings. Well, again. These stickers are not going to be used. I have my own design uh, in the works. And now that I have the, the kit, I can start doing measurements for the body because I have very specific requirements uh, so that I can make my own stickers for this. And then 39, the markings as well. And then in 40, we're going to be attaching the body. Now, technically, that's it. But I know that... Um, you know, there's still the four wheel steering instructions, which I think is on the next page. Whoa, what is going on here? They're all back. I can't believe that. Well, that's super, super cool. Makes this manual very colorful too. But you know what? One of the things I do know is I've had a number of people say I should build this with the four wheel steering. Maybe all these stickers are saying that too. I don't know. So you know what? We're not going to do the two wheel steering. We're going to go with the four wheel steering. That's right, folks. We're going to build this with the four wheel steering after all.
So when it comes to building this with the steering, there's a whole other section I have to figure out here. As you can see, it's gonna be built differently so that we have steering hubs available to be able to make that work. And I'll just move all of these stickers off here for now. Um, so you can see that that's gonna be a bit different that's gonna be a bit different because now we're going to need two servos. Before it was only gonna be one, so now we need two servos. And then of course we've got uh, some more tie rods, etc., that have to be put on. And then uh, attaching the rear steering linkage. Again, we're now putting the same thing on that we had on the front. And then of course we've gotta put on the other servo. And of course, because it's four wheel steering, what's really interesting is if we were, if this was the front, which it, it is showing that it is, the front wheels are gonna go like this when they're steering, the rear wheels are gonna go like that when it's steering. So technically it's almost like a, a, a V. So every time you turn right, fronts go that way and the rears go that way. It'll be interesting to see how it rides because if you had it up at higher speeds and you did a full left or right turn, I feel like it's gonna flip. But you know what? This is such a unique van, such a unique uh, ability to have the four wheel steering. We're gonna do it. So there is the manual. Um, so we've gone through everything. I can't get, I can't wait to get started on the build. And I want to thank all of the uh, YouTube channels that have sent in their, their stickers for the start of this project. Again, I don't know how they made it into the manual, but that's just too cool. Anyways, please like, subscribe. If you're intending on following along, be sure to uh, click the notification button. And more videos are on the way. So until next time, we'll see you in another video.